Hello, MNS Studios here, and today we're actually going to be taking a quick look at the LEGO Star Wars 40th Anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back Bespin Duel, and this is probably one of the coolest LEGO Star Wars sets I have ever owned, but before I get into the review, I do want to talk about the hassle I had to go through to get this set. So, when I was going to get this set originally, um, by the time I was going to get this one, or planned to get this one, it was already off the LEGO store. So the only other way I could get it was on Target. So I went to Target. I looked and see, saw if it was in stock. In order to know that, you had had to have a red card and you had to sign into Target.com, which I did not have a red card. So, but and by the time I would have gotten that red card, it would have been about week to week, a week to two weeks um, after I would uh, this after waiting i wouldn't be able to get this set anyway um so even if uh so even after i did get a red card eventually this one did not stay there it was obviously sold out even by the time so the only alternative i could do was actually order this off ebay which of course that's eventually what i did and i paid about 70 dollars which is not too terribly bad in my opinion and that's actually what a lot of people paid for this set it was around there if you order it off ebay which Again, I did not complain about that. I'm very glad to have this set, so I didn't complain at all. But literally the day after I this was going to be shipped in, um, the day after I won that bid, because it was a bid, and I didn't really win it, but uh, the day I got that bid, I uh, noticed that LEGO had just put this back on the LEGO store. And I was very, I was very agitated that LEGO didn't tell anybody and I would have thought they would, but that's my short little spiel about this set. I think this set could have been handled a lot better. So, without further ado, let's look at this set. So, first of all, we're going to look at the packaging. Here's the packaging. Pretty basic packaging, as you can tell. I really like the 18 and plus, the, the 18 plus packaging. I really like it. I love the black outline, or the black box, and then with the set, and then the little white in the middle. It really makes the set pop, and... Uh, yeah, but obviously you guys know the price it was $40 and 295 pieces And then here's this back part you got where he tells him he's his father You got the measurements, which is always nice so you can measure how much space you need for this um, and then you got the uh, Back of the box So yeah box is pretty self-explanatory and then the instructions pretty basic instructions I really like the fact that they set this one up like a UCS set and it told you a little bit about the scene and whatnot obviously in a couple different languages and then you get into the building and the building is pretty basic there's not a whole lot of hard parts in fact the only really problem that I had with this set was the fact that there was a sticker and also the tubes here were not very easy to do you had to get them pretty much at the right angle and that's very hard to do but i think it worked out for me um but yeah those are pro i think the only things i d i think really the only things i do not like about the set are the sticker because i think that really could have been a really awesome exclusive print and then of course the tube so that little tubes on the side for the railing i think could have been uh much easier to do it's very hard to get the angle that they need to be at so but yeah so looking at this set i really like a lot of the detail that they put into this one i think it works out it you know it really uh gives me the flashbacks of when i first watched the scene uh when i was like four or five years old so I really love this set. A lot of people complain about the um, one by two or the two by two brick pieces here for the elevation of it. I don't care about that. I think it looks fine, and not much you can do with about it. So this is the front of it, or well, really the back of it. But and yeah, there are a couple of clips here. I'm assuming those were for the lightsabers. I don't know, but. It's, I'm assuming it there for the lightsabers just because they are towards, technically, this is the front of the set, 
and the back is obviously on that side. So I'm assuming that's what they're for, those clips. So obviously here is where Darth Vader slices that thing off before he cuts Luke's hand off. And obviously Luke is here crying. Um, I, I really like this Luke Skywalker figure. And I really like this, like, this is going to how, how I be, uh, this how I will be displaying the set. Exactly how it is right now, so. Uh, but yeah, I mean, overall, I really love some of the build elements that they use with these clip pieces to round out the, uh, this part here. This portion looks really nice, looks really clean. I love the railing. The railing looks really good, and I like the fact that they use these microphone pieces, which you do get an extra of, so, um. I think that's really nice. And you actually do get a number of extra pieces in this set, uh, which is really nice. So, and then I'm going to raise the camera here so you can see the needle here. So, yeah, the little needle things here, little antenna, do look really nice. And I really like the fact that they actually used a pitchfork uh, for this bottom part. I thought that was a really nice touch. And that's actually really, really stupidly accurate to the scene. So, I thought that was a really cool thing. Now, I think it's... Uh, like, I think it should go down a little more and shouldn't curve, but other than that, it's, like, really accurate, so I thought that was cool. I really like this black base, too, how uh, they just tiled it off, and, of course, the bottom part is just the inverted, uh, rounded tiles pieces, which I think is fine, because it definitely sits up fine, and it can, it's not just tipping over this way, because it can actually hold the weight, which is really nice. And one thing I actually don't like about this thing is it does come off, like, if you hit it, it will come off down like that. But maybe you can make your own story with that, where it just come, pops down and then, you know, I'm sure kids will do something like that, so. Yeah, but overall, the build of this one, I really like. I love all the real, all the details that they throw in here. And it's a pretty basic build, but it's definitely a really cool one at that, so. Um, now let's look at the figures. So the figures here are Darth Vader and of course oh, So you got Darth Vader, you got Luke. I'm actually going to use this. Um, so here's Darth Vader. So Darth Vader is actually pretty simple and pretty basic. Um, the one new thing about this Darth Vader is of course the arm printing and I believe the back printing is also updated. So, as you can see there, got some light in there. But yeah, I do think the back printing is mildly updated. I may be wrong about that, but I definitely know these arms are really nice. Really nice. I really love the arms. When I first got this, I was like, wow, that actually looks nicer than it does in the pictures. And this overall, this is probably the best Darth Vader we will ever get. I think this is all the like this is literally the only Darth Vader they need to sell now like this is the best one I think the only one that could top this Vader is some sort of battle damage Vader which we really need another one of those so I think that's the only one that can make that could overdo this Vader or over take its reign but this is probably the best Darth Vader we have ever gotten so I, I really don't think Lego needs to fix this Darth Vader anymore I think the helmet works um, I think the only thing I don't like about this Vader is the cape. I think the cape, I don't really like these crinkly kind of great capes. I think they don't really work, but I do think we do need, I do like the cloth ones a little bit better. Um, and then of course he does come with his, um, lightsaber blade, which is hooks and... So yeah, he does come with his lightsaber blade, so if you want to display them actually dueling and not portraying the I am your father scene, you have that option. So yeah. But yeah, this is pretty much the same Darth Vader we've seen, other than the arm printing, which again, looks really clean and really nice. So, and then of course we have our Luke, which is the Bespin style Luke from the Cloud City set. So as you can see, I really love this, uh, the outfit that he has on and in my opinion this is probably the best version of Luke that we will ever get um, it doesn't have any arm printing or anything but I don't think it really needed any um, the back printing looks nice um, and I can't I think this is the exact same figure that we see in the Cloud City uh, Master Build Sherry set so this have the pockets and everything which is very accurate I mean this is a, probably one of the most accurate Lego Star Wars figures we will ever get and definitely one of the more rare ones Luke Skywalkers, and I really love the face printing, 
as you can see here, if I can focus it. Maybe. There we go. Um, but yeah, definitely I really like the scarring that they kind of, or the bruise that they kind of put on the eye. That looks really nice. Um, I think that looks really clean, actually. And then, of course, you have the normal face, so that's one you can use, like, when he's dueling him, and then if you're displaying him as the I am your father scene, that's probably the best face to go with. But you can have this guy holding on to here. And, of course, if you do want to make the scene a little more accurate, you can also take off the hand. I don't want to because I don't want to ruin this figure in any way, shape, or form. But you can obviously attach him onto this rod piece here and have him crying no I guess but yeah I mean this is a really great display set and I think the figures just make this one much better but yeah there you go you have Luke. and of course he does have his lightsaber um, I'm not going to display these guys with their lightsabers in their hands because I think Obviously, the duel is a nice duel. It's a nice scene. But I think the I Am Your Father scene is probably the best way to go with this set. So, that's what I went with. And that's how I'm actually going to be displaying the set. Is the I Am Your Father scene. So, but I really hope you guys enjoyed my review of this set. And things falling off. Um, I do have several other videos coming out soon. Um, I do have the Iron Man, one of the Iron Man mech suits. Uh, that $10 one, if you want to see that one reviewed, be sure to comment down below, and I'll review that one. Um, I also do have a new mock that I will be showing that's probably going to be my next video. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, and tell me, what do you guys think about the new San Diego Comic Con sets? Be sure to go watch that video if you haven't already. Uh, and tell me about those sets. Do you guys think those are really cool sets, or do you think those ones are not near as cool? I, I think they're really awesome, and I really hoping to get that nebula on b and i think that one looks great so but i really hope you guys enjoyed my review of this awesome set that i'm very glad to have without further ado let's leave uh, um that's pretty much all i'm gonna say in this for you guys really hope you guys enjoyed be sure to go check out some of my other mocks and i'll see you guys in the next one